back, relax and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hey guys, so I am here today to review two very big, very exciting books and they are the behind the scenes Harry Potter books from the films, behind the scenes of the films. The first one is called The Artifact Vault and the next one is called The Creature Vault. So these are the first two I've read. I showed you guys that I'd picked up about four of them. Um, I've only read two so far but I've really enjoyed them. All of them are written by Jodie Revenson and yeah let's get into what they're all about. So as you can probably guess The Creature Vault deals mostly with the creatures who were crafted for the films like Dobby for example, like the trolls, like all of the weird pixies and things like that and it kind of talks a lot about CGI and prosthetics and what was used for what. Some of the things in this, uh, some of the creatures like the basilisk were partially made, complete, real characters um, and some of them were completely CGI generated so this is what this book deals with. Now I'm going to show you a little bit inside the book, it's quite big so I'm going to try and show you anyway, um, but there are sketches, there are concept art, there is pictures, um, there's a lot of stuff in here and what I liked about this is that it has a kind of fun facts box on each page as you can kind of see here and this talks a little bit about each of the different animals and creatures and what they did differently with it, what properties they needed to look out for to make it feel genuine. It's divided up into these various different sections or chapters so you can kind of pick and choose. You don't have to read it from front to back, you can go in whatever order you like. It's completely up to you because it is non-fiction and it is mostly just pictures and there's always a bit of text on each page but it is largely dominated by photos and images and concept art and all sorts of things. So you can see like the werewolves in the story were animated and kind of brought to life in concept art. They had to work out how to transform a man into a wolf in a way that wasn't necessarily being done already and make it kind of fresh and I really really liked the various different things that they went through in this book so that's kind of an overview of what that one was like. I think all of these are really fascinating. I find behind the scenes of films just infinitely fascinating anyway because I think it's such a foreign world to me, like I could never imagine a animating a film or doing CGI effects or being able to do prosthetics and makeup to the level that people in these films do and so getting to see behind the scenes of how they do some of the things and what they make them out of is always fascinating for me. I gave this particular one, The Creature Vault, 4 out of 5 stars and I would hugely recommend all of the ones in this series so far because I really have enjoyed them. The other one I have to show you guys is The Artifact Vault and this one to me was slightly better because I think the text that was included alongside all the images actually felt a little bit more in depth I think. I think that the other one is kind of an overview, you get spotlights on various things and you get fun facts and it's quite an exciting read but this one felt a little bit more insightful overall, there's a lot more quotes from the teams who worked on the sets and who worked on the artifacts and the props and you get a lot of talk with graphic designers which is quite interesting to me as I did study graphic design at uni so I think that was all really really fascinating stuff. Again I will show you inside, I also really like the cover of this one actually, I think it's a really nice cover. So that's cool. But you can see in here that it talks a lot about the feasts and what they did to make these crazy extravagant feasts. Apparently in the first film they actually used real food for the feast and because they film over a period of different days and they're trying to get the shots right and get everything looking good, the food was pretty rank by like day three and four of filming because it had just been left out and people weren't allowed to eat it so it was just going a bit stale and it smelled and ugh, all that stuff so it sounded pretty horrible to me. Apparently that's what they did for the first film after that film they decided maybe we won't use real food, maybe we'll kind of do something fake and hope that it looks real and that's what they did from that point on. So that was pretty cool. Um, this is the howler that comes and attacks almost Ron, <laughs> poor guy, um, and how that was created. There's lots of attention to some of the packaging and posters that are put up in the wizarding world for various different things like the joke shop and there's a lot of different things within this that I just found so fascinating. Also you get to see a lot of the props that you only see briefly on the screen kind of in a lot more detail and that's really really cool. Um, this is some of the packaging as I say. 
of uh, the joke shop and various different books. Really, really cool. And I really, really enjoyed this. And as you can see, I think this one has a bit more text uh, to picture ratio. So I like that a lot and I would definitely recommend this one. This is the one that Eleanor bought for my birthday. So she kind of got me into all of these books again. I love them. So thank you, Eleanor, because I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars and I would certainly, certainly recommend it. I always just think it's fascinating to see behind the scenes, like I say. So these are great and I'm really looking forward to reading the other two that I own that I haven't read yet. So that should be a really fun thing to do. I'm looking forward to it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you read any behind the scenes of films, books before? I've so far read Harry Potter, Hobbit and Lord of the Rings behind the scenes books because I think those are kind of key fantastical films that have really had impactful effect on special effects and how we've done things and changing things and kind of showing what's possible. So if you have any other films that you think the behind the scenes books would be cool for or that you've read some behind the scenes books of, let me know what they are in the comments below. I'd be really, really interested to hear if you've read any. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, Eleanor, for giving this to me and I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye. Thank you for watching my video today. Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again.